almost 100 years, the history of this country estate, located not far from Moscow, has been associated with the name of Vladimir Lenin. He spent the last two and a half years of his life in Gorky, where he lived in semi-retirement until his death in 1924 at the age of 54. It was here that Lenin worked on the idea of creating the Soviet Union. And it was also here that four years before the collapse of his creation, in 1987, the last Lenin Memorial Museum in the USSR was built. The estate was constructed in the mid-19th century. First owned by General Pisarev, who fought against Napoleon, it later became home to various merchants. During the revolution of 1917, the homestead avoided being looted or destroyed. Its last owner, Zineda Morozova Reinboth, widow of the famous Russian industrialist and entrepreneur Sava Morozov, managed to persuade her workers to guard the place from looters. But it did not escape the effects of nationalization, and soon after became Lenin's country residence. This fact saved Gorky from neglect during the Soviet era and its art collection from being plundered. In August 1918, an attempt was made on Lenin's life. Despite two serious bullet wounds, he miraculously survived. Advised by his doctors to rest and spend more time outdoors, he chose Gorky for his rehabilitation. At that time, the estate was in excellent condition. It was one of the few estates outside Moscow equipped with the very latest technology. Electric lights, central heating, and even a telephone. Lenin loved everything about the area and the house itself, especially its elevated position. The windows afforded magnificent views of the surrounding park and the sweeping skyline. After opening in 1947, the Lenin Museum at Gorky became a place of ideological pilgrimage for the Soviet public. Buses with tourists came from all over the country. About 800,000 visitors make the trip every year to take a stroll through the park where the sick and dying leader of the world proletariat, Vladimir Lenin, once walked. Today's visitors are attracted less by the memory of the Soviet leader than by the serene environment away from the bustle of the big city and the chance to plunge into the atmosphere of the old man alive.